Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about horseshoes. Okay, now you can get yourself a set on Amazon for a fairly reasonable price, or maybe you already have one at home. But if you don't, no big deal, because I'm going to just demonstrate how it works. So when we eventually do get back to uh, teaching on campus, you'll kind of already have an idea of how horseshoes works. Okay, now this is a game or sport you would play with another person. So whoever's living in your home, brother, sister, mom, dad, grandpa, and grandma possibly, you would have two horseshoes of the same color and they would have the other set. These are the ones that we have at school, okay? Now out here at Mickey Grove, they actually have several different um, sections where they have horseshoe pets. And as you can see out here, there's nobody here, so I came out here to video. And in this particular pit, there are four different stakes on one side and four on the other. Now we kind of change the scoring how we want to at Joe Cerna, but officially, horseshoe scoring is you get three points what we call a ringer and then if nobody gets a ringer you get one point for having the closest horseshoe okay now what is a ringer a ringer is when it actually goes onto the stick so I can show you on this one here when I toss it it goes over that is called a ringer so it actually rings around the stick now, when you're standing that close, pretty easy to do. But when you're far away, not so much. Now, sometimes when we play, I like to make a ringer worth five points, and then we assign points to what's called a leaner. A leaner is when it leans up against the stake. And I like to call that three points, okay? and then one point for having the closest. Now, when you go to toss your horseshoe, this is good for practice for underhand tossing. I'm gonna kinda loft the horseshoe and try to have it land as flat as possible. Now, these are not heavy. These are rubber, so these tend to bounce. If you have a real horseshoe that's metal, it will, it will thud. And that is why here at our stakes, there are sand little sand areas around it. So the horseshoe that is metal kind of lands in it and it sticks. Okay, but just so you know, these probably will not. But I'm gonna show you the form anyway. Okay, so I'll have, it's like a little lip right here, a little ridge on my horseshoe. That's where I'm gonna put my thumb. And I will toss underhand like so. So normally how I do it is I toss one, my partner tosses one, I toss one, then they toss a second, and then we compare to see how far away the horseshoe is from the stake. And whoever has the closest one scores a point for that round. Okay, so let me give it a shot. So that's pretty close. We'd have to go down and measure, but it looks like maybe that last red one was the closest one to the stake. So whoever the red player was in that round would get the point. Players would retrieve their horseshoes, come back to the starting spot, and start again. So the distance I was there would be more for a middle school distance. Obviously, if you were in fourth or fifth grade, you'd get a little bit closer. If you were in second, third grade, a little bit closer than that. And then maybe kindergarten, first grade, you might only be, you know, 10 feet away to make it a little easier, okay? All right, guys, that's all we have for horseshoes today, and we will catch you next time.